Okay, dinner tonight is um, baked chicken, so I just made a salad. We have a little spring mix left in the bottom of this, so I just made the salad in there. And then we are having, this recipe is called, oops, I think it's called grandma's green beans or something like that. It's been simmering for a couple of hours. I just put the little uh, couple tablespoons of butter in there here at the end. It's got bacon and onion and it smells really good. Um, I will link that recipe. And then we're just having chicken legs, um, a simple baked chicken leg recipe. And then this is loaded mashed cauliflower, uh, which is one that we really enjoy. So that is our dinner tonight. Okay, and so, since it is Sunday, we are having dessert, and tonight we are having fondue. So I just did um, a mixture of semi-sweet and bittersweet chocolate, and then I've got a couple plates here on the table with bananas, strawberries, graham crackers, and then I had these leftover uh, uh, like peppermint marshmallows from Christmas, so I put those out as well. Got our skewers here. We are ready for some family okay, time. We are just having a really quick Monday night meal. This is um, beef and bean enchiladas. Um, so I just cooked the beef with some taco seasoning and onion and some beans mixed in, and then just put them in the tortillas, um, you know, spread some enchilada sauce inside, put the meat mixture in with a little cheese, rolled it up, put it in here with enchilada sauce, topped with cheese. Um, Real simple, my own take on enchiladas. Um, and I didn't like completely douse them in the sauce because not all of my kids love that. So um, I ended up doubling the recipe and I made two pans. So one now, one to freeze. And then we're just having this, it's Monday night, like I said, just a real simple quick dinner. So we're just having this with chips, salsa, and guac on the side. All right, this is the dinner that always reveals just how messy a cook I am because there's rice everywhere. Um, but really it's just that I don't really have a dish large enough for this, although I feel like this is a pretty big dish. So um, this recipe says it serves six to eight. This is from the Trim Healthy Mama, or Trim Healthy Table Cookbook. It's one of our family favorites. Um, and they recommend having the recipe if you have, like say you're feeding four. Um, my family absolutely kills this meal, and so at times I've doubled it. Um, or done it like 1.5 times the recipe, but it's like a big mound in here at that point. Um, or I'll mix it in a mixing bowl after. So at the end, you add in the brown rice. So sometimes I'll just put it in a big mixing bowl and add the brown rice in cooked at the end in that. Um, but this is called uh, chicken fried double rice. And if you follow the Trim Healthy Mama plan, it's an e-meal, um, which is like a carby meal versus a fatty meal. Um, and this has, it's like half cauliflower rice and half brown rice and it's got egg whites and chicken and I use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. You cook it all in toasted sesame oil. There's peas and carrots and garlic, um, chicken, I believe I already said, green onion. Um, it's just really yummy and it is, uh, my son Jesse, my 11 year old would like eat this whole entire thing if I would let him. Um, but it's a family favorite. We really enjoy it. And I typically shave a little off the top to put aside for John's lunch the next day um, or my lunch the next day because it's a great one to heat up for lunch as well. So that is dinner tonight. And um, it is a one pot meal, but I scatter. <laughs> I think just because you're mixing a lot of stuff in. I don't know. I don't know why I get rice everywhere when I make this meal, but yeah. There's literally rice all over my kitchen. <laughs> Chicken fried double rice, trim healthy table. I'll link it in the description box down below if you guys wanna buy the cookbook. It's one that I reference often. Um, there's a lot of family favorites for our family in that cookbook. Okay, it is a church night, so we eat very quickly before we head to dance and then church. So I made some crock pot honey barbecue pulled chicken. If this is a new recipe I've never tried before. Um, so I will link it down below if we liked it. I just need to add a little bit more sauce to it. And then I just made a quick batch of coleslaw and then I heated up some um, buns that I had made a couple months back and stuck in the freezer, just some sesame hamburger buns. Um, and I put two gallon size Ziploc bags in the freezer full of extras for nights like tonight when we just need a quick dinner. So. 
pulled chicken on buns with coleslaw on the side or on top of the sandwich and church. Okay, it is Friday pizza family movie night tonight. Um, so we, every other Friday we have pizza right now, homemade, and then the other Fridays we are studying the book of Acts with some friends and so we're either at their house or they're at our house and on those nights we order pizza or they order pizza because it's a crowd between the two of us. We have 11 kids. Um, four or five of whom eat like adults. So we order lots of pizzas. Um, but homemade pizza tonight, um, and then I just made the crust in my bread machine. This one is sausage, pepperoni, pepper and onion, and then this one is half cheese, half pepperoni, although we have a runaway pepperoni over there making it look like three quarter pepperoni. Um, and then I just made a salad on the side instead of chicken wings tonight because we had history co-op today, so we didn't get home until it was time to get going on dinner, um, which means that I did not have time to also make some oven baked wings, but we like to do those on Fridays as well. So anyway, that is dinner tonight, and uh, we're gonna watch a movie and hang out on so the couch. So it is girls night tonight, this Saturday night, because the boys went camping, um, and so it's just Annabeth and Josephine and Isabella and I, and so Bella made uh, this is an overnight French toast recipe. It's like pecan, brown sugar, French toast. Looked really good. It's made with Italian bread. She made it. It's from the Magnolia Table Cookbook, which she received for Christmas. Um, and so she assembled it this morning and let it sit all day in the fridge instead of at night and letting it sit overnight. Um, and then I just made some bacon. I just took it out of the oven and I'm letting it um, drain on those paper towels. And then... Um, I bought, John asked me to buy a pack of strawberries for them um, for to have with breakfast tomorrow when they're camping. So I bought a pack, uh, I bought two separate containers and he brought them both thinking they were both for him. And so I guess we'll have orange juice uh, for a little something, a little fruit. Oh, you want, you want chocolate milk? Uh -huh. Okay, well then maybe we'll have grapes or I'll slice up some apples or something. Does that sound good? Yeah. Which one? Um. Grapes. grapes. Okay, so we're gonna have this with some grapes on the side instead of some strawberries. But yeah, Bella Actually, made dinner tonight. Apples. Apple slices. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Bella made it. Breakfast for dinner. It looks so yummy. Finishing touches. Whoa. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. It looks like snow. It does look like snow. Good job, B. Thanks. Perfection. Okay, dinner tonight is meatloaf. Um, we are just having some baked potatoes with it. I've got butter and sour cream over here and some broccoli and I made two meatloaves, one for tonight and then one either to freeze or heat up as leftovers at another point. So it is Sunday and again, typically we have dessert on Sunday but we went to a birthday party and had cake at like four o'clock. So it's like seven o'clock right now um, and I don't think any of us can look at anything sweet right now without getting a stomach ache. Um, so, no dessert tonight. Hey, it is taco night. We're having turkey tacos. So I've made extra meat so I can freeze some. I got three pounds of ground turkey here. Um, and then refried beans. We've got some shells over and here. And we've got toppings over here on the table. My mom got me this. I had had this um, mud pie. I love the mud pie brand. Kitchen decor will actually love their baby clothes and adult clothes and everything too, but I have a lot of their kitchen stuff and I love this not or this taco setup. This is actually for tortillas in the middle and underneath it says let's talk about it, but I just put tortilla chips in there and because we're using um, hard shell tacos tonight. And then there's a spot for sour cream and tomato and lettuce and then just whatever. So I put salsa because I don't have the salsa bowl set yet. And then cheese, I've got some taco sauce over here. So um, the kids put like their meat and beans on from the stove so it's warm and then we've got toppings here. 